Hey everybody, it's Tom here. I am going to do a little video of my unboxing and assembling the shot box. Uh, so I'm just going to go through it just like any of you would when you first got it. Uh, all of this here came in uh, one big shipping box. Other than that, it's exactly as I received it. So I'm just going to go through it. Um, I bought the deluxe kit, I guess. It comes with everything you can buy for the shop box. And it comes with a really rather nice tote bag here um, for, I guess, you know, storing it or transporting it. Um, there's a nice uh, shoulder strap inside of there and some different compartments for the different, I think, backgrounds and other parts you might have for it um, and I, I tend to leave intend to leave mine set up here but uh, it's it's a certainly a very nice box to have so I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to start with the main uh, box here left in there is some little packing material. These are really nice expanded foam material to protect it. Also seems like there's another uh, very very thin small tote bag that came with it uh, in case you just bought only the base unit and didn't buy the deluxe tote bag. Certainly I have the big deluxe tote bag. So let's see. It says this is a reversible floor panel, black and white. And then there's some instructions on the inside which seem very, very straightforward. So I'm just going to follow that. Looks like, let's see, let me find, oh, okay, so this is the correct, actually the correct orientation. Looks like it's this way. And also, all right, so this looks right. <clears throat> so it says lift up from the two back holes from the two back holes so I guess these would be the two back holes here lift up guide inside panel into position and in back gosh that was really easy there is a piece of uh, foam packing material in there to discard Rotate support legs into front placement. I think they're already there. Now it's, oh, it does say to put the, um, insert the reversible floor panel. I, right now I want the white side visible. I put that floor panel in there and you can see it's now you know a nice smooth flat surface in there. And that's saying to plug the power cord into the back 
I did see there was a port for that. So it comes with uh, standard US power cord. So let's look at the back here. And there it is, that's the location here. There's also a USB port there. Um, presumably for, I don't know if that's too, it's a power port. So you could power it via USB. And this other little, there's three ports here. This one here is for the side shot, which I haven't unboxed yet. So you plug the side shot into it to give power to the side shot. And it looks like you may be able to power it by USB, although I have not read the instructions regarding that. Okay, plugged it in. So then we've got light switch. Oh, I don't have my power, my, my power strip off. Now my power strip is on. So it says light toggle switch. Okay, nothing happened yet. Ah, there's a dimmer switch here on the right side. Turn the dimmer switch to on. Wow, look at that. It's got some seriously bright LED light going on in there, which you can dim. And then what do we have here? Ah, they have switches where you can toggle. Looks like the left side, everything on, or the right side on. So, wow, that's some bright, bright light. Oh. So the USB port, it says here in the instructions, can be used for charging your smartphone just for convenience. So if you're using your smartphone to take your photographs and your battery is running out, you can charge it from back there, which is really smart. All right, now, um, Has some glare shields here. That I'm not entirely sure where they would go yet. Um, where are the where do the glare shields go? Well, well the. Oh, glare shields for the LED lights. Ah, interesting. So it looks like these go on the inside. I don't see instructions for that, which seems to be maybe a miss in the instructions. So let me see how that would work. Looks like they just magnet, magnetically attach right up in there and provide some glare shield to bounce the light up and maybe not have it go directly down as much. Yeah, so you get a lot more bright light without the glare shields. If you put them in, you get a little more indirect light. So something to experiment with. And then uh, backdrops. So, I do have, I did get the backdrop kit, so here let's uh, delight back to normal so you can see that. So this is the box of backdrops.
Comes with that deluxe kit. Looks like they're all rolled. Neatly. I think I'll save this box so I can save them. Not labeled as to which is which, so I'm just gonna go. Looks like this is the white backdrop, which is what I'm probably gonna use to start. And um, it's got sewn into the end kind of a, a rod sewn into it, and up in the back of the box drop box in the back is are a couple of hooks that this lies into so I'm gonna install that and that's easy enough to just pop in there and then you unroll it and it's got, oh I see, I got it backwards. So there is, uh, at the top, uh, in the back, those hooks I was talking about would go right here. So here it's got that a plastic rod sewn into the top. So you can just drop that on in the, in the back. And then lay your backdrop in there. And you've got essentially a, a cove, you know, backdrop there. That uh, looks very nice. Um, so here I'll turn that on so you can see. Now I've just got a straight backdrop uh, that's nice and white and clean. Uh, now I'm discovering something else. Looks like the side has these side. Um, supports for the top that flip up, which I did not notice earlier in the other instructions. I want to look at that again. Ah, it does show that. Rotate support legs into front placement, and I, I kind of missed that. So I uh, just did that now. I'm going to let us so you can see then these support rods, which uh, were down on the side come up and, and give more support to the front, so that makes sense. And then the idea is these holes in the top are places you can set your smartphone camera to take pictures straight down. And now I'm going to set up the side shot, which is the last box that I got in the shipment of the kit, the deluxe, I guess, uh, kit. Now, the instructions for the side shot are still in the main instructions here. And it's saying Turn this knob here to adjust the side shot arm's angle, I guess. You lift and slide the support arm to the desired height and angle. So, okay, so you can, you know, slide this along here to change your height. The idea being your smartphone camera is going to rest here and take a picture through the hole. And then you have to connect it with this USB cable to its power in the back. And um, you put the support foot into one of the holes here on the top. Makes sense. Seems fairly easy. And if you, you need, you know, if you're using like, I guess, an iPad or something to shoot it with, you have, you know, these support pieces that come out and help give you a wider base. But with a smartphone, you don't need that. So I'm going to plug it in. Let's 
see. Uh huh. USB is right at the top here. USB connector is right there. And then it plugs in in the back. There's just a little port for that. Plugs right in. And now I've got LED light. I want to unplug this so you can see it. I've got LED light on the back of the side shot now, putting the light directly in from the front. So that is quite a lot of powerful light in a really compact footprint. Nice and easy with LEDs. I like the dimming capabilities. I keep those other backdrops right there. I like the dimming capabilities a lot. <clears throat> I think I'm ready to start taking some photos. Now that is a very simple product to set up and uh, gives a great quality of light and much easier than what I was using before which you know was a much it was in this location a bigger vignette setup but I had lights hanging from above hanging off of my bookcases here shining in through the sides and the quality of light was not near as good so um, I'm impressed I'd say Great job, Shopbox, and uh, I'm going to now start taking some pictures of my 3D printed items and uh, compare those photos to photos I had taken before. So, hope you enjoyed this video about unboxing the Shopbox. Thank you.